Hello students, 2-2 EC 301 Signals and Systems, Semester 3, Department ECE. I am Jagan Babu, Assistant Professor, Department of EC, RMD Engineering College. I am going to give the video lecture on the topic, Signals and Systems, under the Chapter 5. Question, Structure or Realization of the Filters. Draw Direct Form 1, Direct Form 2, Cascade Form, Parallel Form for the given difference equation, Realization. Question is y of n is equal to minus 3 by 4, y of n minus 1 plus 1 by 8, y of n minus 2 is equal to x of n. Solution. When the question is given the form of difference equation, apply z transform, convert it to the h of z. Or you can apply with the Fourier transform. Any transform you can proceed. Laplace transform. Okay, take z transform. y of z minus 3 by 4, y of n minus 1 can be written as z inverse y of z plus 1 by 8 y of n minus 2 can be written as z power minus 2 y of z which is equal to x of z y of z take outside therefore 1 minus 3 by 4 z inverse plus 1 by 8 z power minus 2 is equal to x of z what is h of z transfer function y of z divided by x of z which is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 3 by 4 z inverse plus 1 by 8 z power minus 2 number 1 direct form 1 okay we have the direct form the numerator value is only 1 so simply draw a line x of z 1 denominator is highest order is 2 so put z power minus 1 one box z power minus 2 another box this is called as delay next the multiplier is 1 minus 3 by 4 plus 1 by 8 so put the multiplier value as 1 instead of minus 3 by 4 you have to enter plus 3 by 4 Instead of plus 1 by 8, you have to write minus 1 by 8. Then add us in between, there are two adders. So connect the adders to, then join this. This is called direct form 1. Direct form 2. Direct form 2, you have to club together both input and output. The highest order is z power minus 2. So take it in the center, z power minus 1, z power minus 1. This side, the input numerator is 1, this corner. Output this side, the multiplier value is 1, plus 3 by 4, minus 1 by 8. There are adders to the input x of z, output y of z. Next, we used to call it as cascade form or series form. The given equation find the roots 1 divided by 1 minus 3 by 4 z inverse plus 1 by 8 z power minus 2. Therefore, 1 divided by, we take the roots, take the calculator, a value, b value, c value, highest order, the equation is mentioned in the mode of 2, we will get the answer is 1 minus 0.5 z inverse 1 bracket, 1 minus 0.25 z inverse into other bracket. So make into h of z becomes h1 of z into h2 of z, cascade form. So h1 of z into h2 of z which is called total h of z. My h1 of z equal to first bracket 1 divided by 1 minus 0.5 z inverse. My h2 of z is equal to second bracket 1 divided by 1 minus 0.25 z inverse. Then you have to draw the diagram. All the all should be drawn in only in direct form two methods. First box h1 of z, second box h2 of z, both to be interconnected and interjoined. That is called cascade. In the first h1 of z, highest order is z inverse, second h2 of z is highest order also z inverse. The multiplier value is 0 0.5, 0 0.25. Delay is only one delay, adder also only one adder. Input x of z, output y of z. Next case, parallel form, h of z is equal to 1 minus 3 by 4 z inverse plus 1 by 8 z power minus 2 which is called as 1 minus 0.5 z inverse into 1 bracket, 1 minus 0.25 z inverse. So you have to go with the partial fraction method, therefore it's split into two terms, a divided by 1 minus 0.5 z inverse plus b divided by 1 minus 0.25 z inverse. Therefore, first value 
1 by 0.25 when I substitute find the partial fraction a b value equal to minus 1 when I substitute 1 by 0.5 value z inverse a equal to 2 so substitute all the values here a and b value so therefore h of z is equal to 2 divided by 1 minus 0.5 z inverse plus b values minus 1 divided by 1 minus 0.25 z inverse previous case is cascade form you have to draw serious manner it's a parallel form you have to draw the parallel manner there are two cases first case in direct form 2 second case in direct form 2 both to be in the parallel the input is x of z output is y of z both input and output to be joined with the adder plus you will get output thank you students